How much is my home worth? That's the first question most homeowners consider when the time comes to sell. So how do you know you're selling your home for top dollar? We have the expert here, Conrad J. Klinkhammer, a real estate agent at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Premier Properties, to answer that question. Welcome back. It's always great That's to visit much. with you. Okay, so I said you are the expert because uh, homeowners, we always think our house is worth way more than it, it probably is. But yeah. as an agent, how do you know when the listing or buying price is right? Well, you know, it's basically economics 101, okay? So we've got uh, Hayek with his perfect competition. We've got Mises with subjective uh, value theory. The long and the short of it is your price is worth what someone's willing to pay. Okay. okay. And that's what we call the market price. Okay. Well, so how do we determine market value? Well, and that's where things get complicated. So you're always backwards looking and you're taking, it's kind of apples versus oranges a lot of the time. So you've got different layouts, different locations. What we're trying to do is take a look and see how the market has reacted in the past to try to find a number. And that's some deep statistical analysis. And then my job is also to help you react to how the market reacts to you. Okay, that's interesting. It's good to have someone on your side because I think homeowners get kind of emotional, but you're actually, you know, looking at the numbers and the facts. The data, yep. The data, yeah. the data. So uh, what happens then if a house is priced too low or well, too high? Yeah, well, you know, what's probably most common is that a house is too high, right? Everybody wants to get top dollar. Uh, everyone thinks their house is maybe worth more than it is, um, and they want to say, well, let's just see. Let's just see. That's the common attitude. <laughs> so let's say the market analysis is very clear. It's worth 300 okay? So you say, let's just see. Let's, let's put it at 330 Well, what's going to happen is when you list at 330 right away, one group of people is going to see that price, and it's the people who are looking for a 330 house. Now, they've been looking for a 330 house for how many weeks, how many months. They know what a 330 house looks like. They're going to look at your house and they're going to say, this isn't worth 330, so they're just not even going to show up. And the people who are looking for your house, the $300,000 house, they're not going to see it because you're out of their price range. They might have a smart realtor who's looking based on features who will bring it to them and say, hey, take a look at this house. It's exactly what you're looking for, but they're dollars that don't. So they're going to say, this house is too expensive, and they're not going to look at it. So what's going to happen in the end is week after week, you're going to wait and see. Month after month, eventually you'll say, okay, these holding costs are killing me. You said market price is $300. let us bring it down to $300, okay? So then the house, you'll be listed at 300 you'll finally start getting some views, but people are going to look at it and they're going to say, well, what's wrong with it? Why hasn't mm -hmm. it sold? Two months. So they'll come in, you'll get an offer, but that offer, because you started high, is actually going to come in under market value, and you're not going to end up selling it for market value. Wow, I didn't realize that. I thought there's a lot more that goes into it and how you can hurt uh, yourself by yeah. overpricing. I just thought not selling, but selling for a lower price. And sitting on those holding costs. Now, if you start at a lower price, the risk runs completely in the opposite direction. Okay, rather than nobody looking at the house and having no views, you're going to have a ton of views. And what that's going to lead to is possibly a, a multiple offer situation where you end up with a bidding war. Now, if you start low, you're probably not going to make market price, but the risk is much lower and the bidding is going to get it much closer to market price. And the statistics are just such, you end up selling much closer to market price than if you start high. So the risk is just completely in the opposite direction. This is why you should work with an expert, right? Yes. Exactly. Because yes. yep. uh, you've had this experience and have dealt with homeowners and you can say this is the history of what has happened. <laughs> yep. And impassionately look at the data, you know, without getting emotional. Very good point. Uh, how do people get a hold of you? And they can give you a call and just ask uh, some of these questions, Yes, right? of course. Uh, my phone number is 701-388-9420. Uh, you can call or text. Um, of course, I'm easy to find on the web. It's just conradfargo.com or facebook.com forward slash Conrad Fargo. Okay. You know, it's just great to have that conversation as you get into the process of selling to what do you think my house is worth? So. Yes. Great visit with you. Thank you so much, Conrad. Thank you. Uh, we'll be right back here on North Dakota Today.